Steve, uh, the numbers in the Fox poll about uh, Democrats, uh, about, you know, 70, more than 70 percent of Democrats likely to vote by mail, down around a uh, very low number in the 20s uh, of Republicans. That seems like a new phenomenon to me. In your experience in presidential campaigning, was there ever a very big difference between voting by mail by parties? Well, re Republicans are sustained by their vote by mail programs. And so Donald Trump has gone out there. You imagine yourself as one of these Republican senators in a tight race, Susan Collins, for example. You know, Donald Trump is undermining your campaign and it's working in the same way that he politicized so recklessly the coronavirus pandemic, whether it's masks, whether it's hydri uh, hydrochloroquine. Um, it's the same thing with regard to with regard to the mail. It, it's self-defeating. It's injurious. He's giving advice that makes the problem worse. And the problem right now for Donald Trump politically is he's behind. He doesn't have enough votes. And the people he's most deterring from voting by mail are the people that will vote for him. Now, the fact of the matter is, is Donald Trump can slow the mail down. He can do a lot of things. But if the Democrats are organized, he can't stop people from voting. He lacks the power to stop people from voting. The only person who can stop someone from voting is you. If you are committed to going to vote, get those ballots in the first day you can get them in, your vote is going to count. So Donald Trump is doing everything he can to play games with the integrity of the system. But the integrity of the system will hold so long as people participate in it, so long as people understand what the rules are. Donald Trump is trying to sow confusion and chaos, and the mail slowdown is one of the ways he's doing it. Uh, unfortunately, we have a billion prescriptions in this country that are delivered primarily to our veterans and senior citizens by the mail. So we have millions of Americans who aren't getting their prescription medicines because of this nonsense, and some of them will probably die also. And we can add them to the list of casualties because of Donald Trump's malice, incompetence, and ineptitude.